So the iPhones actually started a trend in the industry of removing the charger in the box for the sake of the environment. A lot of other Android manufacturers, especially in their flagship offerings, actually followed suit. Few Chinese OEMs are still providing them in the box, but you really don't know how long this will go on. Not just that, this trend has actually crept into the mid-range market as well as well as some budget phones. So even around the price point of 20,000, you have a couple of phones here and there which do not get the charger in the box as of now. Now, although this kind of has its downside that you don't get the charger in the box, but there is some point of silver lining, at least for the tech nerd inside of me, which is that there is new charging technology that has been coming up, which is called Gallium Nitride. Now, a lot of brands actually have adopted it and we have a few Indian brands as well in the market who are providing Gallium Nitride chargers. And this is the next best thing because not only is it more efficient, runs cooler at higher wattages while charging your phones faster, but also drastically reduces the size of your chargers as well, which you will see in this particular video. So for this particular video, actually StuffCool reached out and wanted me to showcase a bunch of their stuff, which really intrigued me. Full disclosure, this is not a sponsored video. They just provided a few things that I'm gonna showcase around in this video. That said, this shares and let's take these out. So first of all, StuffCool sent out a huge box with a lot of their stuff. Now with that said, stick around till the end of the video because the last product is something that is kind of on my wish list and I wish I had this long back and I'm so glad that they actually provided in the Indian market, not to mention also for a very reasonable price. Oh, and whatever I'm covering in this video and I mention over here will be linked down in the description. So make sure you visit them when you are interested in buying either of them. First of all, they shared their Flow Quick Charger, which is a 22.5 wattage charger. It does support the PD standards. It has a USB-A output, not a USB-C. So that's something to keep in mind. So let's quickly just open this up. All right, so that's a very compact charger actually, but you do have other chargers which are similarly, you know, sized and are priced in the market as well. But what makes the deal sweeter is that you get a USB A to C char charging cable in the box. Also, speaking of cable, actually StuffCool came out with a new cable which will be linked down below, which is made out of all recyclable materials. And someone for who cares about sustainability and reusable uh, materials for making cool stuff like charging cables, you should definitely check it out. So actually most of my devices actually support wireless charging, especially my phone, TWS, and now also my watch. I do require a lot of wireless chargers. Now, unfortunately, this Galaxy watch does not support Qi wireless charging. So the next product won't qualify for that. But this WC630 wireless charger is actually a great deal. And not just because it's the slimmest charger I have actually used. You can see the thinness over here. It is extremely thin and actually I had a very thin charger as well which I have right over here and it is actually for a very similar price as well. This is also pretty thin but the problem is the cable comes attached on this and it ends at a USB-A. Not just that, in this particular deal, you actually get an 18 watt uh, charger in the box with a charging cable as well, which is compatible with it. And also the thickest part of this particular charger is actually the USB-C port, as you can see here. I used to really think wireless charging is very convenient personally, and I have a few wireless chargers around the house. So this goes into my collection of those and is actually a really great bedside charger according to me. But also this idea actually got reinforced to me given that my parents themselves are like, hey, we need a wireless charger for the living room because you can just prop the phone up there and it just charges up really quickly. All right, speaking of fast wireless charging, this is something that I think is really usable and very useful. Personally, fast wired charging is going up to the rise as more and more manufacturers remove the chargers from the box. But a lot of them actually support PD charging, which is a more common standard and a more universal standard used across devices, not just across phones, but it is also seen in a lot of thin and light laptops as well. So this is a type C to C Centum charging cable which actually can support up to 5 amperes and 100 watts of power delivery. So anybody who has a fast gallium nitride charger or anything, 
they can really use this particular cable to charge up their devices really quick so having a quick look at this over here first of all it is a very sturdy build and not just that this is completely nylon braided which makes it extremely durable and definitely not gonna break anytime soon apart from that you can carry actually one cable only for your trip or something which can support charging of the fastest which is supported on your laptop as well and also on your phone and also via one charger probably. As I said, um, gallium nitride is not something new to me because I've been actually using a gallium nitride charger myself for past almost one and a half years. But this I purchased with my own money and I got it uh, around one and a half years back for myself. And I think this has been a really valuable package for me. I only travel with this uh, particular wall charger. Also, this is I think is called the Napoleon charger. And they got a newer version of this, which has two USB-C's and one USB-A. In this particular model, you have one USB-C and one USB-A. So that's something there. But if you want, uh, if you have lower voltages devices, like maybe iPhone and an iPad, maybe. So that can easily be charged together with probably a pair of AirPods or something like an Apple Watch with the newer Napoleon charger, which has three ports on it. Believe me or not, this is 65 watt charger and this is really, really, uh, you know, feels really substantial and hefty in the hand as well. And just for comparison, actually, I bought a OnePlus 65 watt charger, which supports their warp charging standard, which is proprietary 65 watts. But you can see over here, it only has one port over here which is a USB-C port, which is also good. But over here, there are two ports. Not just that, if you compare the sizes of it, it is slightly smaller, the stuff cool charger, even in other dimensions as well. Also does not support, you know, PD charging at 65 watts. It only goes up to 45 watts in PD standard. That's something to keep in mind. And don't worry, iPhone users, even you are covered because they have the new 40 watt charger. And this is a charger which has a dual USB-C port because the iPhones in their boxes at least come with USB-C on one end and unfortunately lightning cable at the other end. That's where this charger comes in. You can see there are two USB-C ports over here which are really close by. So this is another very compact charger of 40 watts which could be useful for most iPhone users. All right, so I, as I mentioned, there's a something special at the end of the video and this I think will be really intriguing to every one of you. Now I have a lot of devices, especially on my desk over here. I have a camera charging. I have, you know, a couple of phones charging at a time. Sometimes my TWS and soon my watch will add to the list as well. I need a one-stop solution. As of now, I was actually using this particular Napoleon 65 watt charger itself. Uh, with two of the outputs, but I had to keep switching, you know, devices and using the same wires for that. Now, this particular charger, which I'm going to show is probably the big daddy of gallium nitride chargers. For one, I think the wattage provided by it is very good. Not to mention that the size that it comp makes it compact into, thanks to the gallium nitride technology, is really compact as well. And I'm talking about the 120 watt Centurion charger. Now, this is a behemoth in terms of the kind of protections over such things and cooling that it provides for the wattage it offers. But once you, I actually expected, hey, you know what, this is a small kind of a charger given the box of it. But I was extremely surprised and taken aback when I opened this particular box. Then you see over here that the charger is only kind of, you know, two third of the box. So let me just open it up and remove this particular plastic peel, which will be extremely satisfying. Oof. Now you can see that it's almost at the size of my palm, which is the size of this particular charger. And it's designed really well. I see that they have put in, you know, four little rubber um, feet on this particular thing so that it does not slip around, which is a small design touch, which I think will be really nice because it is of glossy plastic and it usually scratches easily. So that would prevent it. You have a, three USB-C inputs and you have a single USB-A as well. I would definitely consider traveling with this because of course, before I had to carry this, which is considerably compact, but the thing is that if I have a laptop, tablet, phone, TWS and a watch, 
I do have to cycle between a couple of outlets. Now this given that it's so slim, for example, here is my phone thickness. So it's almost like the thickness of two phones or probably a Galaxy Z Fold 4 or something like that. And it gives out 120 watts output simultaneously to all supported devices. Absolutely love this particular product and I would definitely recommend it. Yes, everybody can argue that the price point is a little bit steep, but trust me on this that there is no other product that I could really find which would provide this kind of a package, size, portability as well as output. So yeah, that's kind of it and I hope you like whatever I covered. By the way, all the things I mentioned in this video will be linked down below. So if you find anything nice, do visit the links in the description so that you find them out. I will be putting these things around my house wherever I find convenient in and around and you can definitely check them out on my social medias over here on Twitter and Instagram. So make sure to follow me there.